What up, Hope Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten back at it again. I've got my husband here with me. Hello, husband. Hello. How you doing? There are not a lot of animals in this world that I love more than kittens, but snakes are incidentally one of them. You do really like reptiles a lot. Yeah. I, for me, frogs are so much higher than, than any kind of reptile. For you, I feel like snakes are at the top. Frogs also up there like don't get me wrong they both can't be higher than the other up there you know it just depends on how i'm feeling that day. it's recency bias you say <laughs> oh cute frog it's up there yeah. cute snake it's up there yeah, it's no. just as i'm thinking about it that's how they get no, right literally. yeah that's funny so um i'm super excited about this video which i feel like incidentally has nothing to do with either kittens or snakes it's <laughs> the frank's true facts the rise of the kitten snake what the hell is a kitten snake? I don't snake? know what a kitten snake is, but it sounds like it's gonna be adorable. I hope <laughs> you guys are doing well, staying safe and sanitized. I don't wanna waste your time or mine. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. 20 some odd million years ago, That's there was a, a bit of a rodent situation. Things had cooled off That's a bit, a and the emerging grasslands were perfect for general rodent activities. Around the same time, there was a group oh, of emerging carnivores, the Mustelids, that saw all of this as an opportunity for a buffet. Or now, weasel? the innovation of the rodent, those meatballs rodent. of the field, was the ability to dig and burrow with their claws and ever-growing front teeth. Mm. And it can be a challenge if your favorite snack is packaged in a maze of tunnels. <laughs> so the innovation of the Mustelids, like this one right here, was to develop a body plan that could go right into the tunnels after them. Their bodies got longer and their legs shorter mm. until they took the form of a kitten snake, which is obviously awesome, but there's trade-offs just like anything else. Right. You can see how good a ferret is in a tunnel. I mean, that's some crouched down walking right there. But if you're all stretched out like that, you're basically planking the whole time. <laughs> it's a great ab workout, but it takes some doing. So, when they walk out in the open, they arch their backs and bring their legs ah. closer together to better bear the weight. On the plus oh. side, they can use their bodies like a spring when they run. That's Here's so a demonstration cute. by a least weasel. It's a ridiculous name. I can think of plenty of things less of a weasel than that. <laughs> Your mom's screwdriver. That's less. Sudoku. I could go on. Your mom. <laughs> so I just wanted to say that. <laughs> If he didn't make the your mom joke, I was going to. I was so waiting. I'm so glad. Oh my goodness, that was so satisfying. I'm just like waiting to tune in, dude. Oh, hammer it out. Us and the Frank. Yeah, we're, we're here on the same today, page, dude. Bro, fuck. Just like scratch the hell out of my nose. Here, kiss it. Mm. Ah! Let me kiss it. No, you were trying to bite it. Like that. I, no. Anyway, these stretched out rodent hunters became quite successful and evolved into a diverse group of animals alive today. One thing, though, that they all seem to have in common is that they're fierce little fuckers. Mm -hmm. I mean, no wonder. That's Are what they really fighting? Spend a yeah. few million years hunting in a hole. So Think about it. Black. It's pitch black down there. You're in a narrow tube, and the thing you're hunting has teeth that can chew through wood. Jerry, this doesn't look intimidating. Looks like it forgot its lines at an audition. Oh, this one's even worse, Jerry. It looks like Mr. Magoo is a Furby. That line dates me, doesn't it? Anyway, to deal with rodents that I believe so would be scary coming at you in a tunnel, the Stellids evolved disproportionately strong jaws. Oh, Many oh, animals go Jesus wider when they want a stronger bite. But the Stellids went long, with lots of leverage for those muscles to work through. Mm. And the connection between the lower and upper jaw is a strong, tight fit. Stays together even as a skull. A oh. dog or a human lower jaw just falls off. Anyway, having really? spent their evolutionary childhood performing face-first colonoscopies of rodent tunnels, God the Stenid damn! I'm so sorry! Face-first colonoscopies, and he's chowing down. <laughs> he's hammering down the jaws on that ass! <laughs> oh my god! Colonoscopies of rodent tunnels. Mustanids were plenty ready to f things up when they ventured out into the rest of the world. Oh. The mustanid, <laughs> perhaps ah, best ah. known for its bad acidness, is the honey badger, Kill you. with its ability to fart bees and squirt acid from its nipples. Jerry, that's obviously not true. What do you mean, how do I know? Jerry, nothing farts bees. All right? Do your job. Anyway, here you can see a honey badger that has oh, a no. python right where it wants it. Jerry, again, <laughs> right the honey badger's clearly f***ed. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, great. Now it's going to be eviscerated by jackals. To oh, shit, you were right. Oh, he just That's got out. That's crazy. I mean, the snake definitely thought this was going to end Dang. 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 I did too. Oh, now they're doing the spaghetti scene from the, oh, the dog movie, God, Lady the and the Tramp. Snake. I mean, that's always been a horror movie from the point of view of the noodle. 
But you can see that the rest <laughs> of the fighting. animal kingdom is still trying to catch up to what Mastelids are capable of. They can go wherever oh, they want. Nice. A number of Mastelids <laughs> followed the rodents into the forests, like these stoats who are filmed by the Stop. naturalist Robert E. Fuller, who's very good at what he does. May not be as many tunnels, but there's certainly burrows and nests to raid. Mm. Listen, someone had to make sure that the squirrels no. don't get too sassy. Look at it licking its chops. <laughs> you eat the hell out of you, squirrels boy. are f***ing fast. But that's fine for the stoat. It'll try after anything. Check this out. Oh, no. It's straight no up diving way. shot for the bird. And the other one's so confused. <laughs> and look at this stoat. It's actually thinking about it. <laughs> that's the most <laughs> delayed reaction from the pheasant. <laughs> He actually had the jump on him, literally. He just didn't take the shot. Oh, man. He could have sniped this bird out, dude. It's like when you sneak up on me in the kitchen. When I walk into my own kitchen <laughs> in the place that I live, when you know that I'm home. Look. Yeah. Just because I know that you're in the house and in the vicinity. And have business in the kitchen. Doesn't mean I expect you to be directly behind me. That's craziness. <laughs> I live here. Stop being surprised that I am Announce here. Announce yourself. Hi, I am in my own kitchen where I belong. I refuse. That's why I'm always like, oh, hey, I'm right behind you. Hey, I'm right here. It's because you worked at a fucking... Never mind. <laughs> but of course, sometimes you'll have to settle for I an egg. egg. I mean, that's one way to scramble not it, isn't it? It's not He's even a dad rolling. joke. It's just like a dad observation. I mean, if you're that size, an egg will make you an omelet big enough to wear as a poncho. But listen, I don't mean to make it sound like rodents are pushovers. A rat, for example, will put up quite a fight. I mean, look oh, at that. The rat goes right it. in. No, he's ready. like, finally, someone worthy. And then it gets all crouching tiger, hidden dragon from well, there. Well, they fight. And sometimes you got to know when to give up. But I certainly don't want to give you the impression that these smaller mustelids are all piss and vinegar. Mm. I mean, they have a softer side as well. Look at this one stretching out in his den. He's even got a little pillow. Oh, God, that's a dead mouse. Yeah. You have to admit, it's pretty metal using a corpse for neck support. Yeah. But here's a little nuptial scene. <laughs> oh, she's oh. pissed. Look at that side eye. That's amazing. He's so you totally come back home up, drunk. Bro. Probably out drinking with the rat and lost track of time. Uh. She's having none of it, and he knows it too. <laughs> right there is the stoat <laughs> equivalent of sleeping on the couch. Because they can get very cuddly. You think your legs get tangled up under the sheets? Try How your whole cute. torso like a weasel do. Wow, they're and like four they can look like a Cirque du Soleil act. And you know what that leads to? Weasel sex, right? Oh. I mean, that looks very similar to killing, actually. Yeah. <laughs> On the bright side, it goes on for about 90 minutes. Wow. God you know, to, some of y'all could learn. Something so murderous would have such an intense mating ritual. <laughs> yeah. Looks a lot like death. <laughs> oh, there's that. Now, the embryos of most mustelids don't necessarily implant right away. They can remain in diapause until the conditions are right. To make sure the little wow. babies have a chance. I mean, wow. right out the gate, you wouldn't want these cute little bastards to have to make it through a winter. And winters can be challenging for mustelids. That long body means that they lose heat quickly mm. and they don't hibernate, so they've had to adapt. They don't Maybe hibernate. The most remarkable is that some really? mustelids, including this least weasel, I get the name. I mean, it is around the size of a hot dog, so I'll let it slide. Anyway, ah. they reduce the size of their brain case and their brains during the winter. They've got what? a high metabolism and that brain takes a lot of energy, so why not? You want to sell your car to a weasel, do it in January. No thoughts, head empty. Yeah. He, Literally. He said, bro, it's cold. I ain't got shit to think about. <laughs> it's cold. That's it. It's the only thought. See, so don't be yelling at me no more in yelling. the winter time. Yelling. Okay. Strong word. Don't be yelling at me no more in the winter time when all I want to do is curl up in my bed and not think about nothing. Hey, sweet. I'm just a weasel. Hey, hey, sweet. I'm a least weasel. You want to get up and just do something? No. Today? That's yelling. <laughs> I'm screaming at you. Where were we? Oh, right. Now, these forest-dwelling wow. mustelids the can get quite on? a bit bigger. Oh, I mean, those pine martens there aren't that much smaller than the fox, mm -hmm. but they're still quite comfortable up in the trees. Look at this one doing a little inchworm down. Mm -hmm. And then they get up to this. I'll tell you right now, that's a fool's errand. You don't let a squirrel <laughs> goad you into a circle chase. I mean, I get it. You can't give up once you start because you're so pissed off. And now there's people filming it, for God's sakes. The, the only way to get to a squirrel is make fun of its tail. He's Tell them to use product the to get that him. poof. They'll stop dead in their tracks, let you touch it. It's all they've got. Uh, a marten may be big enough to take on a cat, but oh. mustelids get bigger still. The wolverine, for example, oh, and yeah. full Thanks. bear. Yeah. With an incredible stocky build and the ability to fart beat. God damn it, Jerry. <laughs> you didn't do research, did you? And I don't want to say it again, nothing farts bees. 
Do you have anything about the Wolverine? It looks kind of like a bear. I just said that. <laughs> Forget it. Just move on to badgers. In addition to the honeyed variety, there's a number of flavors of badger out there. Some of them more related than others. They're all into man. eyeliner, but the European badger took it a bit far, in my opinion. All badgers have the ability to fart. Jerry, you deleted the word bees just now, didn't you? Whatever, at least this way it's true. Anyway, a long time ago, the badger said, I'm tired of going into someone else's hole. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. I don't want someone else's hole. I want my own hole. And I want to wear sweatpants all the time. <laughs> so they changed their body into a pair of sweatpants. Nice. And they learned how to dig with their incredibly long claws. Their claws Genius are so decision. long that the badger wonders why a certain character is named after a wolverine and not a badger. <laughs> Leave it right there. It's bullshit. Anyway, unlike other mustelids, badgers do dig their own holes. And they're nice big holes, too. Don't have to squat down all the time. And speaking of squatting, they don't poop in there. They go outside to poop. Civilized, Genius. right? And I'll tell you, if you need help burying a wow. body, call a badger. Whoa. Look at this one. Freezer's probably Whoa. full, so it decides to bury an entire cow. Save it for what? late dry age. Pay extra for that. Until it rains. What? Look how oh happy it is with itself. He's sitting on now, a number of What? And then he sat on... They said, don't rest on your laurels. I won't. It's a corpse. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> Wow. There was this book series that I was really into when I was a kid. Where is this possibly going? <laughs> and it was called Red Wall. A bunch of personified animals. Okay. And the strongest ones mm -hmm. were the badgers. Ah, I see. Badgers were the strongest ones. Yeah. And they could go into this thing called the blood wrath. And yeah. when they were in the blood wrath, bro, they could fuck anybody up. Like, it's curtains for you, my nigga. Yeah. So, Even the cows. Yeah, I mean, probably a cow. There were no cows. There in the were book. no cows in the book. Boo. But <laughs> which, in it? hindsight, Boo. there were no cows. Boo. But then they had cheese. So there were cows. But there were no cows. Slave cows. <laughs> they didn't want to talk about it. Too much subtext. Now, a number of mustelids are quite comfortable in the water and have developed a taste for sushi fish like this mink here. Nice. But one family of mustelids are particularly adapted to living in and around the water, the otters. There's all sorts of them. Here you can see some smooth-coated so otter babies, distressed. which are... He's just Why like, does he yeah. specifically look like so concerned? What's going on in so, his bro, brain? I've seen some shit and I just can't stop thinking about it. I just, I'm eight years old. I just, oh, God. Well, always on my mind every day oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well they're they're being ridiculously adorable yeah right? i don't have anything to say i don't i don't even know what they're doing i just <laughs> want to look at them everything has a point <laughs> now in case you think the otters have gone soft Hello. they haven't the giant otter for example Jeez. is quite the predator Chow and has down, a posse bro. So if some nosy jaguar happens to be loitering on their mm. turf, they're plenty capable to give it the what for. Better it came After they chase him. it away, they hurl insults at it. <laughs> the bodies of otters are streamlined with shortened limbs and webbed feet, which allow them to undulate efficiently through the water as they swim. Those long bodies lose heat in the water, and unlike other aquatic mammals which pack on an insulating layer of blubber, mm. otters got very, very hairy. Sea otters have the densest coat of fur of any animal. You'd go through your whole stash trying to wax the nethers of a sea otter. <laughs> the outer layer of hair acts as a wow. water barrier, while the layer beneath holds on to trapped air. Look at that. The air insulates sea otters, but also makes them buoyant, so they can float around and groom themselves or have a snack, which people find cute. Even though if I do the same thing, but on a couch, naked with a bag of chips propped up on my tum-tums, for some reason I look pathetic. It's a double standard and it's bullshit. <laughs> I agree. Oh, I agree. Anyway, they can open clams with rocks. Mm -hmm. Apparently, you get an award for that, too. That shit so is This cute. whole thing put me in a mood. Jenny, what else do they do? They have the ability... No. I don't even understand how you think it would be possible. <laughs> Jenny, if you breathe them in, they're not coming out the back. You don't even have your piping straight. Listen, ah! even if you swallowed a thousand bees right. and somehow survived the internal trauma, yeah. the most that would happen, Jerry, is you would crap out some dead bees. Yeah. You're sure stepping in it might hurt, but stepping in <laughs> is something you, you avoid with or without the bees, Jerry. Well, I'm sad that it doesn't exist, too. I'd love to fart some bees. You could do a sort of John Wayne thing. I can <laughs> dare you to pull my finger. <laughs> let them go. You wouldn't want to have to pull your pants down every time, though. <laughs> no. It's sort of like a doggy door or a flap. Mm, but, you know, yeah. the size of like a, a bee. Like a zipper.
Dude, I just need one time for somebody to do the voice of Jerry's dumb ass. Yes. Jerry's so stupid, yes. bro. The shit he would have to be saying. <laughs> he got to be so... But you could... It would hurt to step in. It's got some validity if you really think about it. Like, he just insists that this shit is true. You know, Jerry's probably, like one of the smartest people in the world. I feel like he's being maligned and misrepresented uh, uh, in this video. I just want to hear his voice. I just want to hear what he got to say to keep this going. Like, we demand a Jerry reveal. Man, but no. just a voice reveal. We don't need a no, face No, no, reveal. no face. But man, kitten snakes, I did not see that coming. No. I it put it together after I saw what it was. Yeah. The third clip. Like, I was still okay, waiting all right. for the fucking kitten snake. I was like, <laughs> oh, that's him. And That's then I, the kid's name. But then I remembered uh, Mink's very successful hunters. Mm -hmm. I thought of otters. Yeah, very successful hunters. And then he talked about badgers. I was like, I didn't even know badgers were the same realm as a mink. I didn't realize that, like, I obviously I know, like, stoats, weasels, minks, and, like, I knew they were all related. Yeah. But I didn't realize those were also related to badgers, also related to otters. Yep. To me, those are you separate know? sections on yeah. the end, for sure. I'm kind of like, otters are, like, their own, like, little thing. Yep. And then there's, like, stoats, weasels, minks. Mm -hmm. Then there's badgers and wolverines. Yep. You Very know? different. That, yeah. Yep, for me. And they're, like, basically all the same family mm -hmm. or somewhere related somehow. Mm -hmm. Probably the jaw structure or head shrinking or something kind of relates them all together. The ability to fart bees. Yeah, or <laughs> shitting bees and titty acid of some sort. But very, very entertaining and informative. I really was hoping for more diagrams. So if you could include more diagrams next time. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, but this had a lot of film. Yeah. Uh, from documentaries, which is always nice. And it was not all film that I've seen before, exactly. which is really nice. It's actually mostly film I haven't seen. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times, you know, when they show stuff from documentaries, Chavez and I, like, have already seen it. So yeah. it's pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Don't forget to leave your reaction requests and recommendations down in the comments below. And other than that, peace out, Hope Biscuits. It's skittin' lit.